Satellite developers are trying to show that bigger isn't necessarily better. Thousands of satellites orbit the Earth, providing information on everything from weather to security threats. Most of them weigh tons and cost millions to make. And now developers are going small to save both money and time. NHK World's Mikio uh, Tanabe reports. A new weather observation satellite makes 3D images of how rain forms in a typhoon. You can also peer inside the typhoon. It can cover about 90% of the Earth's surface. It's expected to greatly enhance the accuracy of our daily weather forecasts. Japan and the United States jointly develop the satellite. It can accurately gauge even weak rain or snow. The four-ton satellite was sent into space in February on the back of a Japanese H-2A rocket. The bird's eye view will help researchers discover how rainfall forms in complex topography and predict freak storms more accurately. But these satellites are big, heavy, and expensive. Microsatellites are recently making their mark. A private weather agency launched one last November. This is a life-size model of the microsatellite. It's a cube of roughly 30 square centimeters. Its mission is to observe the ice in the Arctic Ocean. Arctic ice has begun melting in recent years. This allows private sector freighters to take a shortcut through the region. The agency is aiming to launch a new service. The firm plans to analyze photos taken with the satellite and notify cargo vessels of the location of dangerous masses of ice. The low cost and short development period for the microsatellites is a big plus. This is the key for succeeding in the business. Three, two, one, mark. Lots of energy has been put into development over the past few years. Japan's space agency has launched over 20 microsatellites, mostly developed by universities. There's even a manual on the market for anyone interested in creating their own microsatellites. <laughs> Professor Yasuyuki Miyazaki wrote the book. Aerospace used to be inaccessible unless you worked for a government entity or private manufacturer. But now, the field is opening up. This 10 square centimeter cube was carried on the latest H-2A rocket. University students made the satellite. It costs around $30,000. It takes its own temperature and measures its own speed. It sends the data back to Earth as a drawing. This coffee machine automatically makes a brew each time the satellite flies overhead. Each brew is stronger or weaker, depending on the data sent from the satellite. I get a real sense that space is coming within reach. Microsatellites will likely encourage innovators at universities and private businesses to find fresh applications for the technology. Mikio Tanabe, NHK World, Tokyo.